not put a video up in a few weeks i've been a little under the weather so so i'll try to get back with us today with a new one i've got the song i the tiger by the band survivor fresh out of the 80s i think this song was originally on the rocky 3 soundtrack so if you've seen the rocky movies you know this riff you know this song most people as soon as they hear that riff they're ready to start hitting the punching bag that's just how it goes but uh this song today is going to be tuned in open g so to get us started before i break it down you want your low string tuned in g middle string tuned in d high string tuned in g if we strum all three together we got a g chord all right so i'll go down uh go break down how to play this song uh, we'll go through that opening riff, go through what you can do for the verse, also what you can do for the chorus on this song. And when you hear this song, you notice there's kind of a guitar pattern that you hear uh, all throughout it from the start through the verse. You hear this little rhythm like this. Okay, how I'm playing that. I am simply placing the tip of my finger on the low string of the fifth fret, that's a C note, and actually I'm slightly muting the middle string in case I'm doing this strumming pattern. If I accidentally hit that middle string, you, you want it muted so it doesn't sound out too, too loud. And it also involves palm muting, and you kind of got to find a sweet spot for this. It uh, doesn't always come right off to get that rhythm. I had to listen to the song to kind of get it down. Kind of sounds like that. If you have a looper, uh, it would be great for this song. Uh, you could get that rhythm down and let it play throughout the verse, uh, through the background of it. But remember, it's just the C note of the low string, that's the fifth fret. A little bit of palm muting on that top string. Might want to mute the middle string. So that's what you hear uh, throughout, before the opening riff and throughout the verses. Now that opening riff. Very easy. We're just going from a C. We're barring all the strings at the fifth fret, a C, C chord over to what you want to call B flat, A sharp uh, at the third uh, fret, barring all the strings. Back to the C, back to that third. Then I open G, and then bar all the strings at the first fret for G sharp. So slowly it sounds like this, it's five, three, that, you should start out five, then five, three. Five, three, five. Five, three, five. G, five, open, one. I have to think about it. You know how when you slow stuff down, it seems like it's harder sometimes than when you know what to do and you just play it straight? So here we'll do it again. Five, five, three, five. Five, three, five. Five, open, one. C, C, D flat, C, C, D flat, C, C, G, G sharp. That's the main riff. You know, so I'm just using one finger to do that. You want to keep your hand in place, use maybe ring finger, pointer finger. Whatever is comfortable with you using one finger just to show the details on how to play that. We'll put it together again. Okay, then the song, um, when I get through that riff after a second time, kind of hear more, it changes just slightly, maybe a little higher pitch. If you just wanted to go to the bottom string, I'm sorry, go to the high string, First string, your high string, and play just the notes. Uh, 
Yeah. That's possible, but I didn't like that as good. So what I decided to do, just play the same riff, but when I get back to the C, put a little bit of palm muting and some chugging on it. So let's see, I'm hitting it, doing a little bit of chugging with some palm muting. In that on the C before you go into the verse. That's just some options you can do that. You can do the regular notes. Make it yours how you want to do that. But now when you go into the verse, now as I mentioned before, you, you do still hear uh, that little beat in the background. You don't hear that, but you also hear a piano playing. So here are the notes that you hear on the piano. It actually starts out with a C minor type sound. We can pull off of this. So here's what I'm doing. I'm barring all the strings at the fifth fret. I'm taking my pinky to the eighth fret of the high string to get that C minor sound. If you got a good stretch, I can do this too. I can actually use my ring finger to pull that off. So it starts out with a C minor. Goes back to that G sharp that we played at the first. Goes to that A sharp, B flat at the third. Back to your C minor. Then it starts that pattern again. Okay, so after about four rotations as I was doing that, that's what you hear on the piano in the song for the verse. It goes into that chorus. We'll put back on some more overdrive for the chorus. Here's kind of what the chorus would sound like if you want to play it. Back into the verse, that little beat you hear. Okay, so what did I do for that? Well, it starts out with actually an F chord. In this case, I'm making that with my ring finger on the fifth fret of the low string, my pointer finger on the middle D string at the third fret, and I got my pinky on the high string at the fifth fret. So a five, three, five. Gives you that F chord. Then I go up to a D sharp at the seventh, and I put my middle finger here because I kind of go down, down. Then it immediately goes to, I'm just using two of the strings here at the D. I'm pressing in the, uh, the middle and the high string and using my thumb to mute the low string. So it sounds like, Didn't want the whole D. Then it goes back to F. D sharp seven. Then the third at B flat. So F. D sharp. What I showed you at the D. F. D sharp. B flat. Okay, it goes through that rotation twice. Okay, and, and then, I'm sorry. You think about it a second. It goes through that once, and then when you come back around the second time, you're gonna go F, D sharp. I showed you to do it the D, then it immediately goes into this little riff right here. 
play it again. Okay, how I'm playing that. I'm going three, two, three on the middle string. Sliding up to the fifth. Five, three, five, then six. Three, two, three. Five, three, five. Straight to the sixth fret. Okay, that's kind of how you end the course. So if you was to put it together, here's what it will sound like. Of the tiger. So that's how the chorus ends that way. So cover it one more time. If D sharp, a little deep true, F, D sharp, D flat, F, D sharp, a little deep true, then your riff. That's got your whole chorus. Now that pretty much covers the whole song for you. We got the main riff, which is the part everybody likes, some options you can do on the verse. And then something you can do for the chorus here. I'll be honest, I haven't been playing as much lately and I can tell I am rusty with my playing and uh, thinking going through this process. But that covers all the parts of the song for you. Once you get that main riff down, you know everybody loves to hear this part. Once you get that, that's going to attract the crowd when they hear that. You know, everybody knows that riff when they hear it. But it's another try to get quick lesson for you today. I said I've been a little under the weather lately with allergies. Uh, just now getting my full voice back. Uh, if there's any other suggestions or songs you'd like to hear, please let me know. Uh, just getting back in the swing of things, it's a little tricky. Uh, got a couple more songs I'm thinking about doing here in the next week or two coming out as well. This was one I just kind of put together the other day. I thought, hey, this would be a pretty good, easy one people can catch on too quick that we'll add back on to get the ball rolling again. Like I say, if you want to hear anything, just let me know. Uh, feel free to leave any comments. And also, please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you then.